finiteness of life compels all to anticipate the circadian break of dawn and the inevitable awakening of the planet and its inhabitants. Most, if not all. The world is without a doubt a wondrous place to be. Albeit, demands of the experiences of the defeatist that as I present a struggle to disregard every subconscious and fanatical abhorrence of the things encountered in real time and hitherto. And so, quitting one's teeth has always been the way to go, to face each day head on, desperately trying different things and making sure to keep out of a rut. Hello! Hello, hello! hello, hello. <laughs> Frankly, I despise any form of social mixer, casually designed so end users might encounter the mystifying nature of individual minds and the extremes of the human psyche, as well as its affiliated causality, that of which hardly anyone comprehends. Plagued by the sickness of the mind myself, it feels as though this body of mine is estranged from human reason and social construct. Meticulously unraveled through the uncanny dissonance of being a disembodied spirit. Swathed in a seemingly layered garment of chagrin, all for being tragically trapped in a perpetual loop of dead and false memories. Still in search for olden vigor, adequate to drive the very quality of life which I possess to greatness. But alas, this malady has caught up to me and incapacitated my very soul. With nowhere else to hide, I savor the sorrow to soften the pain. Nothing will be as bad as emotional distress. The psychological terror that is my life has come to a state of existential ennui. <laughs>